A continuing crush of desperate refugees and migrants at Europe's doorstep has EU leaders offering unusual concessions to Turkey. German Chancellor Angela Merkel visited Turkey earlier this week. There are good reasons that the European Union and Turkey agreed to work closer together on the questions of making the membership process more dynamic, sharing the burden, visa freedom, and a deal to returning legal migrants. The talks are very promising and will be continued. More talks on membership are among what the EU is ready to offer Turkey in exchange for containing the flow. Turkey already hosts two and a half million refugees, more than any country, and its leader last week expressed skepticism that any concessions by Turkey will lead to EU membership. This week, demonstrators in Paris demanded an end to discrimination against Kurds and called for next month's parliamentary elections in Turkey to be free and fair. Western Europe has long been reluctant to admit Turkey to the EU, and scenes of political turmoil in the country, including the October 10th bombing at a peace rally, a clampdown on the media and members of the Kurdish minority, are fueling that reluctance. From the absolute beginning, that the, the bilateral relationship has been governed by mistrust and by uneasiness. Uh, to, uh, Europe does, uh, many European leaders do not want Turkey to join the uh, club, whereas in Turkey itself, the desire to join Europe was, for, was mainly for uh, economic reasons rather than to, to improve the quality of democracy and human rights in the country. Violence and tension have marred the run-up to the elections that Erdogan called for November 1st in the hopes of regaining a majority in parliament that his party lost last June. Whether it eventually happens or not, the prospect of EU accession and the economic benefits that come with it, along with the promise of eased visa restrictions, could turn out to be vote-getters for Erdogan's party. Luis Ramirez, VOA News, London.